In today's video, I will share with you two Louis Vuitton wallets wear and tear after three years. They are the Victorian wallet and the Zoe wallet. I do have a video to do the comparison of both wallets including their capacity. I will link that video in my description box. You can take a look. So in today's video, we will talk about both of them, the wear and the tear. Their usage basically are equally. And lastly, I also will talk about between those wallets, which wallet I hate it and which wallet I don't recommend it. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Before this video, I also want to thank today's sponsor, Italo. Italo is an online jewelry company. They have a high quality but a reasonable price. The reason they have a good price because they have their own manufacturing. Each piece is individually handcrafted. They offer the worldwide free shipping, one year warranty, and 60 days return. Italo is using stirring silver and the sapphire stone to create a really stunning, sparkling, shiny jewelry pieces. So here I have the box. Inside the box, I have uh, two individual pieces. We will open together. The, the package is really nice for your own or for the gift. So let's do the unboxing first. It's coming inside, it has the pouch and it has the silver polish clothes introduction of this company and also come with stealing silver certificate here are the two pieces that I picked this is their jewelry box so the first one I pick it is the wedding band. How stunning it is! It's so so pretty. And the size I'm choosing is six point seven five. Let's try. So here is one. How stunning it is! I love it. It is a little bit loose, but not too much. It's actually, it's okay. You know, during the morning time, my finger was more swollen. So I think this is a perfect size. This is the second box. This is the engagement ring I picked. This is the classic engagement ring. The size I pick is a 7 and this is so pretty. Look at the design. Look at the detail of the design. And uh, let me try on. Here is the one. I love the shininess. I love the style. It is very classic style. How shiny it is. I definitely love it. Then let me put them together. Here are the ones that I put them together. So perfect. I love it so so much and uh, highly recommend it to check out their website. I also will link my coupon code for 20% off. So take advantage on that. So here are the both wallet. Uh, look at the leather first. From here you can tell uh, both leather is the uh, Anpang leather embossed with the LV logo. However, when you look at the leather, you can tell the Zoe wallet still has a very deep embossed that you can see very clearly. And however, the Victorian wallet, the embossing is not so deep. It's 
become like flat, it become very smooth. Let me turn the back so you can see the Victorian wallet. Uh, the, it's uh, very smooth now, not uh, so deep as the Zoe wallet. Those the outside the uh, embossing. Um, the next thing we will take a look at Victorian wallet, the leather wear and the tear. As you can tell, uh, there's a lot of the scratch. And uh, let me just move closely to show you. Here are the scratch and this right there. It's white stuff. On the back, you see also has a lot of the scratching here, right there. Now look at the Zoe wallet. Now Zoe wallet is pretty good. I hardly see any scratch for the leather. Zoe wallet is pretty good for the leather outside. Now let's look at the inside. Inside is still keep very well. I don't really see any scratch at all, so it's pretty good. So that's the inside. Now let's look at the Zoe wallet. Now Zoe wallet, same thing because it's made by grand like a purple leather. So the inside, no scratch, still pretty good. No wear and tear at all. Next thing I want to talk about is the button. Both of them are the button closure. It's like snap closure. However, I want to tell you that's the uh, big difference. The Victorian wallet button closure is still very strong. You cannot like open uh, easily, but the Zoe wallet, that's the problem. I recently just noticed because uh, for the past two months I've been using the Zoe wallet, I just switched to the Victorian wallet. The button is not so strong anymore, so it's loose. It's very loose. Sometimes I cannot even close because it's very loose. So the Zoe wallet button is not strong as the Victorian wallet anymore and sometimes even cannot close. Even I close, you can see it's not really close and the Zoe wallet is fully closed. So you can see, especially when I put a lot of stuff, this button is totally not working at all. So that's the part uh, I don't like it, Zoe wallet. Uh, besides the capacity because when you have a lot of credit card or bill then you have a problem to close this wallet so this is the con of this wallet and uh, if you carry a lot of credit card I probably won't recommend this one the Victorian wallet definitely can fit a lot and never have a problem with the capacity, so I love the most. Next thing we're gonna look at the, the most the important part is the glazing. That's also a lot of people ask me about it. So first of all, let's look at the Victorian wallet, how the glazing doing. Uh, let me show you closely. So the Victorian wallet, after I use three years, there are no glazing issues at all. I was very impressed for the glazing part. Uh, doesn't have any glazing splitting or glazing peeling. So the glazing part still very, very good. And this also, the glazing is really good. So you all, I do see some glazings and I'm going to show you. And I also see the cracking glazing. Uh, first part is the glazing. This is a splitting. So here are the splitting. You can see this is the part. This is another splitting on the uh, Zoe wallet. Another part of the splitting on the Zoe wallet. And here we have a, a couple splitting as you can see. This is the one. So the glazing uh, Victorian wallet it holds so much better than the Zoe wallet. 
to be honest I do feel like I use the Victorine more than the Zoe wallet but uh, as you can see the Zoe wallet has a lot of wear and tear those are the wear and tears of two Louis Vuitton wallets overall which wallet I won't recommend it definitely it is the Zoe wallet I feel very frustrated when I use Zoe wallet reason is maybe by myself because I like to carry a lot of things the credit cards and the cars at least total I will carry six to seven cars that including my little boys the insurance car my own insurance car driver license and my company credit card and my personal credit card and sometimes I will add an additional credit card just in case so once I put all the credit card in this wallet and plus some bills some papers I have so much trouble to close this wallet especially the button is already very loose so most of the time my wallet is just like this lying inside the bag I got really annoyed so what I say is if you are like me carry a lot of stuff then I won't recommend it if you are a person don't carry a lot of the credit cards and you don't carry the cash bill then you can think about it because the pro of this wallet is because the size so those are the today's video i hope you guys enjoy and i will see you in the next video thanks